Hello, and welcome to the next installment of the Firewood News Update, where we don't claim to be the most organized news source on firewood, only the first. So, let's jump right into the news. The Summer Olympics are kicking off next month in July, and in India, we have this athlete here who cut her teeth lifting firewood. Mirabai Shanu believes she needs to lift four times her current weight of 50 kilograms to win the Olympic gold in the 24, 2024 Olympic Games. She's the youngest of six siblings where she used to take trips with her brothers, and on one particular trip, her brother of four years her senior could not lift a bundle, but she single-handedly lifted it on her head and carried it home on her own. This is how she discovered her unusual strength. She used to help her siblings and her parents carrying firewood and fetch water from faraway places. So, she is training to get the Olympic gold next month and wish her luck. Uh, it's going to be a tough competition as she's had several injuries throughout the past years and uh, she has quite a challenge ahead of her. Moving on, in the last firewood update, you may have wondered how transitioning to cleaner cooking in Africa could affect gender equality. Well, in this report from State of the Planet, it says that women and children spend up to 20 hours per week, four hours a day, collecting firewood from faraway places. This costs them time from work and education and other hobbies. And also, if they're traveling in violent areas, it leads to gender-based attacks. So that is how getting women and children away from collecting firewood will help with gender equality. Moving on, this is a controversial, complicated subject, but in 2018, the EPA declared that wood, that wood burning is carbon neutral. Now, they did this because the idea is that trees grow and capture carbon from the environment, and then when you cut them down and burn them and release the carbon, new trees grow in their place so it's sustainable. But as you can see in all the other news, the EPA is being sued left and right, and there's several arguments against it because it takes a long time to regrow the trees. Forests need proper management. Carbon emissions also are released from the soil that the trees are growing in. And at the time of this study, the EPA has not concluded their scientific analysis, and it's still under review, but they went ahead and declared it carbon neutral. And next, uh, there's a bill in New York that would exempt wood burning for fuel and cooking from the uh, rural energy, uh, uh, from the clean, from, excuse me, from the Climate Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act, which states that by 2030 they must be at 40% of 1990 greenhouse gas emissions. So the Rural Energy Freedom Act has uh, exempted wood burning uh, from that Climate Act, and that's good news for New Yorkers who want to burn a shit ton of wood and have a great fire in their fireplace. So next we have um, out here in Washington, there is a program where you can get $400 if you turn in your old wood stoves. And there's also replacement programs that offer discounts on purchases of new catalytic wood stoves. So if you're in Washington, consider throwing away that old piece of crap for $400 and buying a new one. And, and from InfoWars, this is a quite, this is from last year, it's a little old, but if you don't remember Pizzagate, where this uh, Scott LaBeo guy was throwing boxes of pizza over the gates at City Hall in New York, New York is attacking uh, wood-fired pizza places, which is huge in New York, obviously, and many people are saying it's just ridiculous because not that many pizza places even use wood ovens anyways. And another uh, semi-funny article, the Guardian last year had to retract this article in which they stated that 67% of Londoners voted to ban wood stoves. However, they were sued because the question that they asked people on the street was, wood burners are significant contributors to air pollution in urban areas. Do you think they should be bans in towns and cities? So the question was deemed to be leading and uh, categoric and the stove industry association sued saying that it was a leading question. And next, we have Microsoft is announcing plans to capture carbon, and they have, they have forged an agreement with Stockholm Exergy to, to capture 3.33 million metric tons of carbon from a power plant that burns wood and biomass in Sweden. Uh, now, that's the equivalent of taking 790,000 gas-powered vehicles off the road 
and it's being criticized. Uh, people say it's not that great of an idea, but that's going on in Sweden. And good news over here back across the pond, Laguna Beach has okayed the return of wood burning fire pits to Aliso Beach. Aliso Beach, I'm not sure if I said that correct, but they, they have purchased $20,000 in fire pits to put back on the beach. They were removed and damaged through storms. So they're now back on the beach and they're gonna be overseen by local authorities, beach patrol, that type of thing. Great news for all the residents that wanna to go to the beach and have a raging campfire in the middle of August in California. So back on the other side of the United States, the Maine Forest and Logging Museum is celebrating the owlwife migration. Uh, every year, millions of these delicious fish travel upstream to mate in uh, Chemo Pond in Maine, and they are celebrating the return of this prized species by smoking them and giving them away uh, as uh, a sample to people that go to the museum. So ha have yourself some smoked owl wives. They're also doing blacksmithing, wool spinning, and water powered sawmill demonstrations. And uh, some logging news now. We have the discovery of a rare salamander uh, calls uh, to stop logging. <laughs> Sorry, uh, this uh, yellow blotch salamander, that cute little feather we just saw has been discovered and he only lives in uh, a small area of land in the Sierra, Mod Mod Sierra Nevada mountains. Man, I'm really screwing this one up. So they live in leaf litter, wood, that type of things, and they have been discovered in this logging project, so they're now being asked to reconsider the project. As well in logging news, uh, a proposed project in Mount Hood on this gorgeous waterfall here uh, threatens to endanger this waterfall and the surrounding nature trails around it. Uh, the Pallely Cooper project uh, has been on the books for over a decade and they've been fighting it. So they're going to put that on hold. That's good news for those people out there that want to preserve that. And after 25 years of logging and brush fires in Australia, a greater glider has been spotted. This cute little fella here apparently lives in the woods of Australia. Now, Back in March, logging had to stop, and that's due to an agreement they forged way back in 1999 that said uh, by 2024, logging had to end in this area of Queensland, the southeast area. So that's good news for these little gliders. It'll take more than a century for their trees to regrow as they prefer trees that are at least 150 years old to live in. So hopefully those little guys come back. Uh, they seem like they're probably endangered. I'm not sure if they're listed or what, but um, they have been spotted again. Great news for the Australians down under there. So, thanks for watching. That concludes our firewood news update. And I just tried to do that in one take, so I probably screwed up a few times, just like last time. But I'm still trying to figure out how to get this done and read the news while looking into the camera and I can't memorize it all so it's quite difficult for me without purchasing thousands of dollars in equipment just so you know but hope you enjoyed the video and please like and subscribe to the channel we'll be doing more firewood updates in the coming months as the news is released and we'll see you guys next time